Hi guys, today I want to talk about something that has been bothering me for a while now. So if you were looking for something nice with beautiful nature shots, maybe this isn't the video for you, but you could go watch this. Go now, or stay. So if you're still here, let's talk. I hate the way my hair looks today. I can't find my phone charger. Ow, I chipped my nail. Why is there never anything good on TV? Are those first world problems? I don't think so. They're human problems. We as humans are complainers. That's just what we do. And we complain whether we're millionaires or living on the streets. And of course the people less privileged are thinking about the more privileged ones. Hey, you're complaining on a high comfort level. And rightfully so. But there are so many issues with the expression first world problems. First of all, it splits the world into two categories. The first world that is rich, modern, developed and evolved. And the third world that is impoverished, underdeveloped and backward. The issue with first world problems is that it legitimizes and promotes this way of thinking. And it stops us from seeing the people in developing countries for who they really are. Individuals with personal problems, hopes, aspirations, worries and, yes, complaints. And it makes them into a voiceless mass that cannot speak for itself. Of course, there are catastrophes and wars and poverty on the African continent. But there are so, so many people just living their lives day to day, whether it's in a rural area or in a giant capital city. First world problems is like saying, finish your dinner, children in Africa are starving. One doesn't have anything to do with the other. Yes, we could be more appreciative of the products we own and consume. We could start buying fair trade products to ensure better working conditions. We could take a step back from our lives every once in a while and realize that the problem we've just complaining about forever is really trivial. But first world problems isn't doing any of that. The reason that I finally decided to make this video is because of Teju Cole. He is a Nigerian-American author and photographer, and yesterday I found a quote of his on a website that I really like. Before I talk about his quote, I wanted to present the website to you really quickly. It's called Everyday Africa, and it shows photographs about daily life on the African continent. And yes, I said the African continent, because Africa is not a country, and someone from Ghana and someone from Morocco and someone from Namibia who all grew up thousands of miles apart might have everything in common or nothing in common or just a little bit. But back to the website which is actually a Tumblr and it's just really great. It has beautiful photographs about people, people and their daily life and you should absolutely check them out. And yesterday I found this quote and I'll read it to you because he manages to say in only a few sentences what just took me forever to express and I still didn't get it quite right. I don't like this expression first world problems. It is false and it is condescending. Yes, Nigerians struggle with floods or infant mortality, but these same Nigerians also deal with mundane and seemingly luxurious hassles. Connectivity issues on your Blackberry, cost of car repair, how to sync your iPad, what brand of noodles to buy, third world problems, and the silly stuff of life doesn't disappear just because you're black and live in a poorer country. People in the richer nations need a more robust sense of the lives being lived in the darker nations. Here's a first world problem the inability to see that others are as fully complex and as keen on technology and pleasures as you are. I hope you get why I'm trying to take this. The idea is to be respectful and recognize the people of the Southern Hemisphere as who they really are, just like me and you. Happy and sad, funny and boring, grand and petty, modern and conservative, selfless and self-involved, all at once. If you're still interested, I have a great recommendation for you. I talked about this in an older video as well, because this is so dear to me. Chimamanda Aidichi is a Nigerian author who does not only write beautiful, beautiful novels, but also held an amazing TED talk a few years back. 
It is called The Danger of a Single Story and she talks about how dangerous it can be to limit yourself to only seeing one viewpoint. If you haven't seen it, you should absolutely watch it because it is brilliant and it will give you so much to think about. So this is what I'm gonna leave you with today. And thank you so much for watching and bearing with me. I really don't mean to insult anyone, but I really, I just needed to get this off my chest. So let Chimamanda Adichie inspire you now. I'm a storyteller and I would like to tell you a few personal stories about what I like to call the danger of the single story.